Okay, welcome. This is a long tutorial about uh, how to uh, download the feed calculator app, how to sign up in the app, and um, I will show how the app works, how to make a high quality recipe, a balanced recipe for your livestock. Um, okay, first of all, you need an uh, Android phone. iPhone will not work, it's only working on Android. This is an Android phone. Um, and we have to look for the Google Play Store. In this phone, it is on the home screen already. Here you see it. Sometimes you have to go to apps and uh, look for the Play Store here. Sometimes it's hidden here. Here is it as well. So we open the Play Store easily. Make sure you have internet connection, of course. And we search for the feed calculator app from Single Spark. So we type in feed calculator. Like this, I will zoom in a bit so you can see. Like that, uh, not like that. Feed calculator. And we push the search button. There you see a lot of apps. Uh, we need this one with this black and white logo. Click on it. The next screen will appear and we click on install, the green button here. Easy. This will take a while depending on your internet connection. Uh, on my phone it's already installed now. And I can click the open button. Or I can go back to the home screen. Or clicking this button. And there you see the feed calculator app installed. If it's not on your home screen, click on apps again and look for it in one of these screens. Here you have it as well. Let's open the app. The first time you open the app, uh, you need to, you, you, uh, this slideshow will be shown. This shows you how the app works in a nutshell. So you can swipe to the right for the next screen, and the next screen, and the next screen. It's like a small presentation what the app can do, but I will do that later. Get started, easy. Okay. This is the start screen. Uh, currently, you probably don't have an account. Uh, so the first time you need to sign up with this button. Later on, when you have an account, you can log in with your email and your password, easy. But for now, I don't have a feed calculator account for, uh, yet, so I need to sign up. So we click sign up now. Here's a whole list of fields. They need to be filled in. I'll zoom in a bit so you can Easily see what I do. We start on the top. Um, you fill in your email email address. Easy. I use uh, mine. Second, you make up a password. I will do that as well. Make an easy one. And I retype that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. I swipe up a bit, scroll up a bit. I enter my name, that's Sam, in this case. Um, next one, country. Why you need to select your country? Because of the currency. I'm located in the Netherlands, so we go to the N. Where is it? Here. Netherlands, simple. User type, uh, you can select the one you are. Are you a farmer, feed miller, advisor, other? I'm other. Just click that. Phone number. Simple. And the last one, project. What are you working on? So I have a broiler project. Okay. I'll zoom out a bit. Then we click. Uh, I take away the. With this button, you push down the keypad. So I filled in everything and now, now I can click sign up. For this stage, you need internet connection as well, of course. You have a free feed calculator account now. Um, the app will give you one free credit. This means you can make uh, one, credit, one recipe for free, simple. Let's go continue and click get started. So what we did before is only a one-time thing. From now on, if you open the app, you, you will be 
in this screen at the start. Um, I'll explain the features of the app first. Okay, in the bottom, if I zoom in again, there's a black bar. There you can see how many credits you have. For some recipes you have to pay, you need credits. Some recipes are free and for some recipes you even need two credits. In this case, when you make a new account, you get one free credit from us to, um, to try out. And the credit is valid till this date, a half a year after registering. And on the right, there you see the version of the app. This is version 1.4.1, simple. Okay, then on the top, there is a button here. That's the settings button. Um, yeah, let me show that first. You click that. You be in the menu, the settings menu. Uh, we have several options. My account, credits, select your language. You can change the language of the app. There's a manual, frequently asked questions and a disclaimer. I'll show you the my account first. Here you, you see all the details you just filled in while you're uh, registering. So um, this is my email address. I can change my password. I can log out. I don't do that now. I can change my name, country, etc. So if you change something, like I enter my surname, like this, I click save changes, it is saved. Okay, let's go back. Uh, go back to settings again. The next menu that's interesting is credits. In this menu, uh, you can check your credit balance, same as on the home screen. And here you see as well, I have one credit valid till um, the 14th of December this year. Okay, um, zoom out a bit. How to top up your phone? Uh, I mean, how to top it up the feed calculator credits? There are two ways. Uh, the top one, these ones are uh, in-app purchase. Uh, you can buy five credits, 10 credits, 20 or 50. Uh, for this feature, you need a credit card or a Visa card. You pay it online, actually. The second option is uh, with a physical code. Um, you can contact a local dealer. You click find a local dealer, or maybe you know already a dealer in your country. You can contact him, maybe buy some credits from him uh, with uh, mobile money or with cash. From the dealer, you get a nine-digit code. This you can enter here. Uh, you fill it in and you click activate and your credits will be topped up. So if you buy 10 credits from a dealer, you enter the code, you click activate, there will be 11 credits then. I will do an example with uh, in-app purchase first. I like to buy five credits, valid for six months after buying. I click the buy button. Uh, it will cost me $9.99, 9 euro 99, sorry. I say buy. I already filled in my details, of course, so that's why it's going so quick and easily. Um, and now you see I've got six credits on my balance. So I can make six recipes. Okay. Um, how to make a recipe? We go back to the home screen. Back. Back. Here you see all the different uh, animal species you can choose from. Broilers layers, pig, catfish, tilapia, dairy. So assume we are, I'm a broiler farmer. I just click broiler. Um, good. What do you see here? Uh, on top, you see small, oh, I'll keep it zoomed in, that's better. Here you see small holder broiler feed recipes. On the top, you have uh, two types of uh, feed recipes you can make. It's a small holder starter feed and a small holder finisher feed. On the bottom right you see the energy level and the crude protein level. This one is 2650 and the other one as well. These recipes you can make forever for free. But this is only limited to a maximum of 200 birds. If you're a bit bigger farmer and a bit more advanced, you probably need these kind of feeds. It has a little bit more energy level higher energy level, a little bit more protein, um, 
there's no limitation on an amount of birds, so you can fill in from from, from 10 till uh, 10,000 birds, for example. Uh, so this is the most common feed most farmers need. Are you a really high-end farmer? Um, we have also included more concentrated feed. Um, it's also with three stages, if, as you see. This is a, a starter and a finisher. But the high concentrated, they have a starter, grower and a, and a finisher. So it's a bit different. It's more for advanced farmers and large-scale farmers. These will cost you two credits each. And the standard ones, one. The small older ones are free. Okay, I think I'm an average farmer, so I will make a standard uh, broiler starter feed for the first two weeks, as you can see. After, thereafter you go to the finisher feed, that's uh, from week three till slaughter. Click. Um, next screen, the app asks, how many birds do you have? Okay, I have uh, 1000 uh, chicken, easy. And I click next. This is the most interesting screen of the app. This is the whole ingredient list uh, that's built in the app. The app knows the exact average nutritional values of each ingredient. Uh, what you need to do here is select everything, everything that's available on the local market around your farm. So what can you get actually? You have to keep in mind, don't think about the price, um, even if it's very highly priced, no matter what, just select it. The app will uh, select later on what's best for you, what will be the high quality feed for the lowest price. So just select everything that you can get, even it's, if it is expensive. So in this case, I already made a selection, but let's say sunflower seeds is not there. You deselect it, but I can get uh, rice bran, but molasses is there as well, wheat, wheat bran, yes, no, blood meal, blood meal is not available. On the bottom you see a green check mark. This means if there's a green check mark, it means the app is able to make a high quality feed for you, meeting all the requirements for your broiler starter feed uh, with the selected ingredients. If you deselect too much ingredients, I will show you. After a certain point, you get a bad smiley. This means, in this case, with these ingredients available, the app is not able to make a high quality feed meeting, your, meeting the requirements. So, um, you select ingredients, uh, you select all the ingredients available, but yeah, it's already a, like a small check if it is possible to make a high quality feed. So if you can only access, let's say, five in different ingredients, probably it's not possible to make a high quality feed for you. The app will not compromise. So it will make or 100% okay, or it will get a bad smiley. Okay, let's continue this way. Uh, on the total bottom, it says premix. Of course, for every broiler feed, you need a premix. We recommend uh, premixes with a mix percentages of less than 1%. Continue. Okay, here you see the same list of ingredients I just selected. Um, and you need to fill in the price for 1 kg of each ingredient. This is fake because uh, now it says euro. Uh, barley is not costing 105 euro for 1 kg, of course. Um, but it's just to show you how it works. So if uh, maize is a, has a different price per kg, you can just easily change it. 140 for example, uh, wheat bran is 50. You can fill in any local currency, it doesn't matter what. And in the total bottom, you see the premix. Uh, just fill in the price of the whole sachet, the whole bag, in this case 1600. Uh, you fill in the weight, that's 1 kg, and the mix percentages, that's written on the back as well. Okay. Show feed price. The app made a recipe for you in the background. You cannot see it yet, but
but it can already tell you how much it cost. These prices I just filled in are in Naira uh, from Nigeria. Um, so this is not correct, of course. I will I will change the the currency to Naira. You go to the settings, my account, country, K L M N, Nigeria. Where are you? Here. I say save. Okay, and I go back here. Now it's more correct. If you go one step back here, there's also Naira on top. Look, Naira. Show feed price. Okay, the app made a high quality feed for me in the background. What kind of feed? I'll zoom in. It's a standard broiler starter feed for the first two weeks. The energy level is 2750 and the crude protein level 20%. For one, the feed the app calculated will cost me, the mixture actually will cost me 129 Naira. The balance is always 100%, otherwise it couldn't make a recipe. So um, this is great. You can compare this price with a commercial feed, for example. But now I need to know the composition, of course. So how to do that? You just click show recipe. It says clicking this button will deduct one credit from your account. Currently I have six credits, so there isn't any problem. I click just click show recipe. The app asks me to um, access the device uh, location. I click allow. And there we are. Here you have the 100% balanced recipe for the 129 Naira the kilogram, here you see the summary on top as well. And um, here you see the whole list, you can scroll up of the recipe. Um, in the beginning, I filled in, at, I filled in that I had 1000 birds. If I want to feed them for two weeks, the whole period of the starter feed, I need 511 kilogram. Um, and it also shows you the money you need. Together 66,175 Naira. Uh, the left column is, are the kilograms, the right column the price you have to pay for that, at the feed mill probably. So for maize we need 125 kg, for barley 35.7, for maize brand high quality 72, etc. etc. So you need to collect all these ingredients, mix them together and get your high quality feed. So yeah, this is basically it, the main thing. Um, let's say you don't have the money for those two weeks. You don't have 66,000 Naira. No problem. You can also make a mix for one week. So you click the minus button, one week. All the amounts are changed. Um, and you just need 120 kg for the first week. And the money you need for that is 15,570 Naira. So, see, all the figures are working together. Okay, um, so now you have your own personal recipe. Uh, you can save it on your phone. You click save recipe. Uh, the recipe is now downloaded on your phone. If you go to the gallery of your phone, zoom out a bit here, you go to the photo gallery the same place where your pictures are. Uh, here it is on top, the last one. This is the recipe I just made. So you can use that when buying your ingredients. I go back to the app. Uh, yeah, there we are. There's another button, uh, how to mix. How to mix is a short manual about how to mix your feed properly. Very important. Um, just read it and communicate this with your feed mill or your mixer. Then I go back. And the last one is uh, how much to feed. This is uh, a table which help you, helps you um, uh, with feeding. Um, on top you fill in the amount of birds you have, 1000. But let's say some of them uh, are died. 
uh, I have 995 left. The app will make an estimation of the feed you need. The advised intake per week in kilogram. So for the first week, when you have 995 birds, in week one, you need about 120 kg of feed. In the second week, 388. Then you switch to finisher feed. We didn't make that yet, but then you need about 640 kg. So till the end. So it's, it's like a help sheet, a help table, to, you know, so you know a little bit about how much to feed. But we always recommend to feed to demand, which is written on the bottom as well. Okay, uh, I go back. So I made a 100% balanced recipe with the lowest possible price. Um, let's say you go to a place to buy all the ingredients and you notice the barley is not available anymore. Then you have a problem. Uh, of course, you cannot leave it out of the feed mixture because yeah, then it's not 100% balanced anymore. So what do you do? Uh, you go back, 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 and we search for the barley. Where is it? Barley, barley, barley. It's at the medium energy. I deselect it. And the app says it's still possible to make a high quality feed. Um, so in this case, the app will make a new recipe without the barley, but with a similar quality. I continue. Show feed price. And here you have it. It's a little bit more expensive because it could not put in barley. Um, I click show recipe again, and here you have it, a recipe with exact the same quality, but without the barley. So this is quite sophisticated. Uh, the app replaced the barley uh, with maybe uh, with the other ingredients, maybe a little bit of molasses, maybe a little bit of rice bran. I don't know exactly, but one thing is for sure. One thing is for sure that the the quality is equal. It's the similar energy level, the similar protein level, the similar the similar balance quality. Yeah, I think this was the app in a nutshell. Uh, if you have more questions, don't hesitate to contact. Go to www.feedcalculator.com. Thank you.